We roll on. Uh, next up for us is Patriots Titans. <laughs> Patriots two and six, one and three on the road. Tennessee Titans one six, zero oh and three at home. We're on Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. We're at Nissan Stadium, Nashville, Tennessee. Seventy five Fahrenheit, partly cloudy, ten mile per hour winds. Let's get into the line of history here for this one. This total is at thirty eight. It's uh, there's been a six cent move to the over at thirty eight, but it hasn't moved from the number. On the spread, we have a the Titans minus three and minus one twenty. Uh, this was a three and a half at plus money. Then it went to a three at a legit, you know, minus one ten, and then it got bet up all the way to minus three at minus one twenty eight. It's come down to minus one twenty. Uh, looking around the market, you can get threes, but you'll have to pay at a minimum minus one twenty five for it. Uh, although I did just tell you about the minus one twenty, uh, but around the market, uh, you know, it's three and a half, three, and that's crazy to me. That's nuts to think that this Titans team could be that big of a favorite. But when you dive a little deeper, I, I guess you can f understand it. Le regard whether or not you want to bet it is probably a different story. Uh, from a cash flow standpoint, 69% of the tickets and 75% of the cash is on the Patriots. 93% of the tickets and 66% of cash is on the over. And, you know, I was bullish on the Jets Patriots over problem was was that i was also on the jets team total over which hurt let's talk about the patriots first they're passing offense 32nd in the league 149.9 yards a game uh is drake they're, they're certainly not going to rush drake may from a back from a concussion uh, injury he left in the second quarter with a concussion so i think jacoby Brissett should be expected to be a quarterback here but again you know that's just I have no proof of anything. They're rushing offense 23rd in the league, 111.1 yards per game. Their red zone offense bad, 25th in the league at 50%. Their third down offense 24th in the league at 35.1%. Their passing defense is – their defense is bad, straight up bad, which is a surprise to me with Gerard Mayo coaching. Pass defense 23rd at 223.5 yards allowed a game. Rush defense, they allow 133.1 yards per game on the ground. That's 22nd. Their red zone defense is 20th. They allow – Touchdown 60.7% of the time. And their third down defense is 28th. They allow conversions 45.8% of the time. Mac Beavers is right, saying Mayo calling his players soft worked. Yeah, it worked. They stepped up and they played hard. 25-22 victory at home over the Jets. It's not their ugly six-game losing streak. Uh, May is in concussion protocol. Uh, Jacoby went 15-24 and 24 for 132 yards. You know, if, if you judge Brissett from, uh, you know, yards per attempt or anything like that, it's hor it's horrible. But he's a leader, and he led two fourth-quarter TD drives to win the game. Uh, Kayshawn Butte was a leading receiver with three catches for 46 yards. Ramondre Stevenson has not looked very good over the last few weeks. Ran 20 times for 48 yards, two touchdowns. He caught three passes for 17 yards. Patriots offense only put up 247 yards and 3.9 yards per play. But they moved the ball when it mattered most, and they got the win. They finished 7-15 of on third down, 3-4 of in the red zone. Held The defense held the Jets to 4-10 of on third down, and the pass rush was quiet all afternoon. It's been quiet all year, a uh, one-sack, five quarterback hits. The Titans passing offense at 31st in the league. Uh, they've clearly waved the white flag. They've traded DeAndre Hopkins to the Chiefs, and, and then their starting linebacker, Ennis Jones Jr., out the door as well. Uh, rushing offense 17th in the league, 119.7 yards per game. Uh, you know, you couldn't, the only thing you could count on this year was Tony Pollard giving it his all, and he's done that. He's been great. Red zone offense 18th in the league, 55% red zone. Or sorry, third down offense, the second worst in the league, a 30.6% conversion rate. Their pass defense, they only allow 151.6 yards per game. Uh, it's first in the league. Their rush defense is 12th. They allow 113.9 yards per game. Their red zone defense, 24th. They allow touchdown 61.9% of the time. Their third down defense has been very good all year, fourth in the league at 31.8%. So they come in off an ugly 52-14 loss at Detroit. Uh, it is statistically the strangest game I've ever you know, written out. Uh, and we'll talk more about it, you know, with the Lions as well. But they lose 52-14 at Detroit. Mason Rudolph was 22-38 for 266 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Uh, Levis has missed two straight games with a shoulder injury. We're going to see at practice if Levis can go. There's no sign that that will be the case. Calvin Ridley, you know, the clear number one with Hopkins out. He caught 10 for 143. He did lose a fumble. And Tony Pollard was great again. 20 carries for 94 yards, caught three for 23. The Titans lost by 38 points, despite outgaining the Lions 416 to 225. Tell me you're a bad football team without telling me you're a bad football team. 
It's nuts. The Lions had more points early in the third quarter, 42, than Goff had passing yards. He had 28. That's, That's insane. Nuts. That's insane. I've never seen anything like it. The Titans were 3 of 11 on third down, 2 of 4 in the red zone. They held the Lions to 4.8 yards per play and 3 of 9 on third down. But they couldn't stop him in the red zone. Lions were a perfect 5 for 5. The pass rush got some pressure on Goff. You know, sacked him four times and hit him five times. Uh, Callahan told the media yesterday that the damage to Legereus Sneed's quad is worse than initially thought. Uh, so expect Daryl Baker to getting to get the snaps in the secondary. Sneed, don't expect Sneed to return to the field this week. So I don't know. Like you said, it was the, I mean, they allow a 90 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. They allow a 72 yard punt return that didn't quite get to the end zone. I mean, they, how could anybody want them as favorites? And, and I had a very difficult time putting a script in this game together. And I guess it's almost impossible unless you know if it's Mason Rudolph or Will Levis. Cause I've been telling you, I know exactly what Mason Rudolph's going to do. And it's horrifically pedestrian. I don't know what Will Levis is going to do. And you can say, well, there'll be pick six and there'll be this and there'll be that. But still, he has an upside. Mason Rudolph doesn't. I mean, have you created some sort of script or some sort of avenue to get paid in this one, Troy? Take it away, Patriots, Titans. No, uh, this is a game I have to stay far away from. I mean, these are two more teams that I have just not had a good read on all season. Both teams are incentivized to lose. Patriots, especially with May out. We don't know what the QB situation is on either side. And I bet the the Titans is home favorites every time they've been home favorites this season. And I've lost every single time. Mason Rudolph was fairly impressive last week. I'm not really buying it, especially because his, you know, when you're part of this bad football team, there's so many leaking holes that you just can't cover them all. And I bet the Pats five times this season. I wanted to bet them last week. If you remember my breakdown, if you go back to last week, I wanted to bet the Pats. And unfortunately, like, that's why, you know, Jimmy, when you're talking about the, we were talking about the Jets game and I didn't move on the Jet and I didn't want to move on the Jets because of my recency bias. And I thought about this Pat spot. Uh, you know, Brissett gives you a chance to win, but you're never going to win because of him. You like, you just can't delineate an edge in this market using the database either. There's just nothing in this game. I'm not, I'm not going to have action, Jim. We could save face and uh, move on to the next spot. Yeah, I, I get it. I just want to take one last look at the total. Um, you know, at a 38, I could see why people want the over in this one, but I, even that doesn't really appeal to me. I just see anemic offenses here. Uh, so I don't really... I don't really find uh, an angle here. Now, uh, of course, Ziggy talking about what we've been you know, discussing all year is that the teams that play the Lions, they get destroyed the week after. Uh, did that push you in any way towards wanting the Patriots? Yeah, I, I definitely considered that. But did you, I, did you I think when this line came out, so the first thing I thought of was, oh, God, the books are going to take so much Patriots cash. They're setting it up to take Patriots cash. And that was the first thing I was like, step away from the computer type deal. Uh, did you find when this line came out, you're like, wow. Three and really? a half? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely did. But I think that they seen what Mason Rudolph, I mean, like you said, man, they outgained the Lions by heads and shoulders of a difference, right? I mean, the offense looked competent. And we haven't seen that out of this Titans team. I mean, I, it's just, it was a really confusing spot, man. And, when I when I see this type of spot, and I know that I've lost my ass with this Titans team as favorites, I'm not falling for it again, man. I just mentally, like mentally, for my own mental well being, I cannot lose a bet on this game, even if it was a sacrifice at a fucking lock of the century. I don't care, man, because in the long run, it's going to be healthy for me. Movie ticket recaps says Pats plus three and a half, good money. Everybody's going to be making that bet until it's unavailable. So, Drewski, hey, Drewski's a sharp motherfucker, man. He's, he's yeah, someone to keep an eye on. Yeah, saying it's a sharp trap. I mean, when when the, when the market puts out a line where uh, you immediately know, oh, they're going to take so much money on that one side. I don't want to be on that side, even if I think it's the correct side. Let's roll on. 